All right, Shalom. Giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha, Gadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect. You brothers and you sisters wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai to deliver us from this captivity. To you, I say Shalom. This is First Corinthians chapter five, verse six. Your glory is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump? Purge out there, purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Yahweh Shah, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. So, <clears throat> this video is going to be entitled "Purge Out, Therefore the Old Leaven," and we're currently in the Passover. Um, well, the, the, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Passover was um, Sunday evening to Monday evening. Um, and now we're in the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And your mindset should be purging out that old leaven. When you look in, in, into uh, what leaven is, according to the scriptures, leaven is uh, wickedness. Leaven is false doctrine, pride, anything that, that will puff you up. You see, because leaven is a rising agent. When you add leaven into bread and you put that bread into fire, it rises the bread. So in a spiritual sense, we're in a spiritual uh, walk, a journey. That leaven that could be inside of you could be pride. It might be, um, you know, uh, Job dealt with self-righteousness, you know, which was a form of pride. He's like, you know, I ain't do nothing wrong. I, I, I didn't do everything right. But, you know what, he, he was questioning the Most High. Like, <laughs> you know, the Most High ain't, ain't got all the answers. Um, false doctrine, you got men out here being uh, lifted up because they're bringing out these false doctrine. You know, you, you got men trying to revive the hell doctrine. <laughs> you see how they're acting. They're boasting, uh, speaking to men who may not have a sure foundation in this truth and that don't have a sure foundation in this truth because your foundation starts with Yahweh Shai. And a lot of these men aren't calling upon Yahweh Shai. Um, but they're, they're speaking to these men about these different doctrines and, and, and they're, they're uh, causing fear to be, you know, put into their hearts. Like the hell doctrine is, is a fear doctrine, man. It's a false doctrine based off of fear. Uh, the man now, I don't know his name, but the dude from IOIC, he was speaking he said, oh, this is, this is, you, she, he was showing uh, the, the scene from Terminator, uh, the, the nuclear fire. He's like, this is what's going to happen. Uh, you want to burn in this fire for <laughs> forever? <laughs> this is what happens when you don't keep your dick in your pants. <laughs> so uh, it, it, it doesn't make sense, man. You know, so false doctrine is, is also leaven. You know, it, 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 when, when, when the time gets tough, uh, you know, the scriptures say the furnace of adversity. When that time comes, these things could, um, you know, lift you up, man. It could, it, it'll, it'll stir you up. Certain controversy is, is, is uh, that, that furnace, right? A, a controversial topic, so to speak, could lift you up. You know, bring out that leaven, so to speak, is uh, the better way to say it. It'll bring out that leaven, right? You might have a... Um, uh, you might have a certain perspective of a, a, a doctrine, right? Or, or, or a part of the gospel, right? Let's say, uh, let's just, you know, hey, grape, grape doctrine, right? So-called grape doctrine that these people use against Great Millstone. Uh, there could be men in Great Millstone who teach, go out on the highways and byways every week, and then... When, when that topic comes up, what happens? They get offended. 
because they don't truly believe that that's a part of the gospel. And it's the scriptures, man. It's biblical. So what? They end up falling out. Like You got those two men. I think they're from Mississippi. Um, if I'm not, I could be incorrect, but if I'm not mistaken, they got offended. Uh, the one of the dudes got offended because of how Apostle Tahar answered uh, polite it would, you know, with the whole grape doctrine. Uh, if it's not them, you know, Salakia, but that's from my understanding that that was the whole um, ordeal with that. And, and also it was about, um, I guess, him wanting a higher position or something like that. I don't know. All I know is certain certain parts of the gospel will cause men to flare up and and you will either purge it purge out that leaven and and become a, a new man or you're going to allow that leaven to 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 take you out this truth man you're going to you're going to raise your ass up straight out the truth now you on uh the highways and byways speaking uh, uh false doctrine man fables so it says, verse 7 again, Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are, un as ye are unleavened. For even Yahweh shall our Passover is a sacrifice for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincere sincerity and truth. And this is the mindset that we have to be in. We have to be in a sincere mindset and of truth. You know, you can be sincere, but you can be sincerely wrong. So you have to make sure you have both. You have to be sincere and you have and you have to have the truth, man. And the truth is just what it is. It's just the truth. Um, so we have to purge out that old leaven. That's why there's a um, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Seven days shall you eat unleavened bread. And um, uh, how does it go? Salakia. <clears throat> Seven days ye shall eat unleavened bread, and and ye shall not eat have leaven in your houses, uh, for those seven days. You know, but paraphrasing, because it it was a spiritual concept behind uh, not having leaven in your household. Your household is your t is you know your your habitation. What is our habitation for our spirit, the body? You see, so you want to keep that leaven outside of you. You want to not eat and consume leaven. You're not trying. You're you're purging out that that wickedness, that old man. You know the 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 carnality. All of these things will cause you to to get puffed up, man. And 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 uh, uh, worst case scenario, sift it out and 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 kicked out the truth, man. So <clears throat> that's our main. Uh, that's that's why. Uh, let's see. Grab this real quick. Examine. We have to continue to examine ourselves. Let's see here if it's popped up. This is it. Second Corinthians thirteen and five. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not. Your own selves, how that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. But I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. So you have to examine yourself, man. You have to always watch how you're moving. When you step with the right foot, okay, this is, I, I moved like this, I did like that. You know, and it's good to, to go back. Man, what did I do today? You know, that will kind of help you start to understand your habits you know you might have a, a a habit that's that's you know bad bad for your studying every time you try to study you end up getting on the phone for for two and a half hours and you only study for like five minutes you see so when you examine yourself you start to see certain flaws you start to see certain weaknesses and then you can you can build on those weaknesses you can uh, work towards fixing those flaws and you have to pray pray to the heavenly father ask the heavenly father 
Baba Kasha, allow me to see my faults, my flaws, and allow me to, to become a better man in Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. Because if you're not examining yourself, if you're not um, looking at your actions, paying attention to your thoughts, because we have, you know, those thoughts, man, those random thoughts that pop into your head, you got to rebuke those. those, those wicked, filthy, random thoughts that, 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 that pop up, those are demons, man. And if you allow those thoughts to manifest, you can end up sinning against the Lord. Scriptures say that even the thought of foolishness is just sin, man. So make sure you're examining your thoughts, examining your actions, your habits. Because you may have a certain habit that is, is like an unto leaven. You might have some secret pride. You might have... Uh, uh, a false doctrine that you holding on to. And and whenever it pops up, you're like, well, no, nah, I ain't going to say nothing about it, but I believe this. You got to rebuke that, man. We have to come. We have to come in truth and sincerity, as it says, sincerity and truth. Fighting that old man, purging out that old leaven. And the, and the more you you focus on. The goal, the more you focus on yourself in the sense of becoming a better man for your how about Shimmy Al Shai, becoming that right, uh, that sacrifice, as it says in Romans, the 12th chapter. The better you will be able to stand in these last days, because a man that doesn't examine himself when all hell gets to breaking loose, man, all your faults, all your weaknesses, all of that is going to be shown. Now you're gonna to have to fight with the you're gonna to have to fight with yourself in that day, right? If you're not fasting, if you're not praying, when all hell breaks loose, what you you go two days without food, you you bugging out. Three days without food, you bugging out. And instead of praying and having faith, because prayer you know is supposed to build your faith, you end up going to Esau, man. Yo, fuck, man, I can't, I can't go another day without a meal. Next thing you know, you in, you in a line at the, at the C-Hip stations, man. So this is serious. This is very serious. This is about changing your mindset. This is about becoming a, a, a new man, a new creature in your house shy. So this week is supposed to be a, a, a self-reflection. It's supposed to be discipline. You're supposed to discipline yourself. Seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread. So this is just a, a quick spirit uh, video through the spirit. I want to give all praises again to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, Lord willing, this is edifying. Shalom.